Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Julik and we are doing PvP. As you can see, we are on Alderaan currently and we are trying to do our deed as Imperial Citizen and defeat the Empire. Well, uh, it is technically a war game, so just a simulation just to show them skills, so we are actually playing against Empire players in this game. Fun thing about this game is it is quite close, so uh, we had quite a lot of fun. In this game, a lot of tapping and retapping happening, some of which was quite unnecessary to be honest, like people can't really def uh, certain turrets, but you will see how it is played out. So we're all going mid right now, uh, just to tap that emplacement, usual tactics that people go to the outer turrets, just tap them, and uh, mid is really the contested pick right here. Start off with damaging the sorcerer for some reason, I don't know why. He just tried to ca hard cast the chain lightning and he's instantly in the bubble. So that is, that is not a sign for a good player, but nonetheless, uh, um, they are right around grouped around here, so I have to roll away because they've got quite a bit of damage going right there. So just singling out people, focusing them away. Now that sorcerer that just bubbled, I'm stunning him up and warbanging him, and that's why he dies. And luckily I get stunned up, but the uh, Marauder right there does enough damage to kill him. Uh, right now it's looking quite good for mid, you know, there's only one one player left there, and he's not really looking like he, he, would, um, he would be the kind of person to actually uh, stop anything from tapping. And as you can see, uh, r even though he had line of sight clearly t towards the guy tapping there, really bad of him, uh, he he didn't he didn't uh, he didn't uh, do anything against it. So right now I just saw while well, there was a bit of a fight going, just checking if anyone uh, was switching there. So nobody is mid, so might as well go to the other emplacement, try to capture that one. Um, always trying to look out for reinforcements if I maybe can uh, one on one anybody who's trying to go to the emplacement so that they don't even get to the fight because usually they're they're, they're healers and in a one on one it's better. Uh, right now, just doing massive damage right now, and uh, they're getting kicked out of the AE. AE. That's quite cheeky, isn't it? Um, then the guy which I so thoroughly focused just gets healed up to 80% because there's the healer. So, my new goal in this game is to fucking kill this healer. I really need to get damage going, so what do I do? Usually I mark him with a, a recticle, and he goes in this. And now, very sad moment, I miss him. He didn't jump down, he rolled backwards. So, quite good play of him there, I got outplayed, and I am still running, running, uh, running, 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 and running for him, running and gunning for him, to be quite honest. But he got warbanged, he's dead. Three people on him, so they quite actually know how to focus a healer, which is good. And the rest of this emplacement capture is quite easy, because we have healers, they don't, they only damage dealers, and they get killed quite easily right now. But as you can see, I s I'm seeing like seven people here, so that means, well, mid, mid is quite gone, isn't it? Because people um, that, are, that are dead from the enemies, they respawn and they, well, what do they take? Well, they take mid. So uh, right now, it's our highest goal to We've just, well, um, well to uh, counteract the mistake that people made, like seven people went to an emplacement that was safe anyways and didn't death mid, uh, so we just all switched there. Luckily, um, the he he uh, averted the, the tap right there, and that's why I just die because I found myself on the wrong end of not one but two operatives. So the burst of two operatives coming out of the stealth with all their openness is quite insane. It's not um not quite uh unlikely to die right there. I had nothing ready also, so it wasn't really wasn't really going to happen that I would survive anything of that. Uh, nevertheless, it looks quite good for mid right now. Um, there's the healer again. He, he's, he blinded me, full blind, 8 seconds. Just kind of continuing to heal. And I am really, uh, really seeing into killing him again. Like stunning him up and dealing massive damage. Not, 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 not me alone, there was the, the, other, uh, the other warrior right there. And this guy is kind of trying to kill me, but I just kite him. And right now he gets absolutely destroyed because he gets kicked and executed in the, in the same time. So there wasn't much to do for him. But it's looking quite good, and right now uh, we're losing the other emplacement. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a, 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 a wonky 
back and forth right now because you know we, we secure one emplacement everybody goes to that emplacement and uh, yeah we kind of lose it right there like <laughs> the other guy he just died he just died instantly there was there was nothing to do I'm trying to kite him back leg shotting him rolling away and seeing that the healer's back so I try to focus him uh, right there uh, just also kind of a revenge type of thing to do you know and he I've seen him on all the kills before that but he's out of range and all the other guys here uh, just too too much for us. We can't really do anything against that. Uh, I try to execute him right there, but he gets healed, and and that's that that's just game. Uh, so we're not going to have that emplacement. Certainly not because there are way too many people trying to defend that uh, emplacement. So what do you naturally do? You just switch to the other one because that is not defended because the people are the other emplacement, kind of killing off the people. Quite a basic concept, but uh, not understood by many people. So you will have streams of people still running into the other emplacement and just die. You don't want that to happen. It looks quite good right now because um, I see the healer again and I instantly want to try and focus him out. But that's uh, a moment where quite the fail occurs. I kill him, uh, I kick into the wall, and then I realize I don't have any cooldowns to warping him. So nothing happens right there and I just feed him a little bit of resolve and that um, isn't good at all. So now I'm figuring out what to do with my life and how bad I am and I decide to just uh, give him a series of shots which gets him to 70%. It's quite a sad, it was quite a sad situation there. But right now I redeem myself and I wallbang him down and he vanishes because that's just what our primitives do usually. You know, they heal, they heal, you focus them, they kind of uh, heal themselves and remove your dots like there and then they dodge and then they vanish that's what the operatives do you know, it's quite quite a hard life for any damage dealer focusing on operative because he just he's he just he's just so cowardly isn't it you know you really want to you really want to do something against it uh, it's just a big nope so comically enough uh, in the second where we captured this emplacement the middle emplacement is lost so that that's quite sad, isn't it? That somebody can't really defend the turret or write it in a timely fashion. What do I mean by timely fashion? With a timely fashion I mean that somebody who writes there is an ink doesn't write it when he's dead and they are tapping. So when you see that somebody is moving towards your own placement, you write the ink. You don't write the ink when you're dead and they are tapping. Because that is definitely too late. Because by the time anybody reads it and tries to move, you have only five seconds left and the emplacement is captured. So uh, that's something I don't know why people do this. Uh, maybe maybe they are so enchanted with combat and the one-on-one -on -one situation that they can't really react to anything. Um, like I don't know, like maybe typing in chat or something. But this happens quite often, and this is very, very, very annoying. Uh, right now, uh, yeah, this is the healer again, and I think I no, I, I fail the warbang. It's quite sad, and yeah, mid is kind, mid of mid is very lost, and I die there. So this is all due to one guy not writing any ink, and uh, the situation right now isn't isn't critical. I mean, it's it's 270 to 330 if you watch the scoreboard in the upper right hand corner, and. Uh, it's not, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not critical. So we're not. We're not under um, under any pressure uh, in such that we would lose, even if we have both turrets. Like this is the that's the halfway point. Uh, we're quite good if we tap in a if we tap uh, in a timely manner in a timely fashion right now. Then we should probably win this. So what we're doing is we're just going back mid and trying to tap that. So. Um, many people attacked uh, the uh, the grass emplacement, and many people switched from there. So mid is kind of uncontested. You know, you have three players right here, but it's not really a big of a deal because they get focused so good. So I roll over there to execute this guy. He pops undying rage, but he still got a dot on him, so he's going to die uh, regardless. This is a quite um, quite an interesting situation because we have the operative here. And I have to kind of one-on-one -on -one him because my teammates back there, they have to do other stuff. Put it popping in trench so he can knock down or stun me. Uh, and now we both have the evasion on. So I stun him with the cyber grenade and I run away. 
Right now he's getting quite low, but he used his his med pack, and also I did use my med pack, and it's it's kind of close right now. I kicked him away, but he vanished, and I tried to find him again, but that's where his burst really kicks in, and I get very low, but I execute him, and he dies. That was a full on one on one. It was an operative, um, but to be to be fair, he uh, he kind of. Uh, didn't have an opener because I saw him uh, in stealth before the fight actually started. So I'm one in this assassin. He wasn't very good throughout the whole game. I always, uh, when I saw him, always killed him. And I'm uh, leg shotting this guy so he doesn't jump and stop us from tapping. Uh, as you can see right now, uh, the score was quite, uh, quite close. So we were just below the halfway point. Uh, if we hadn't had tapped in that exact moment, like uh, it is 140 to 260. If that would have been 280, it would have been very close. If we hold these turrets, then we would still win. And this is the highest goal of everybody: that we have to, we have to keep these turrets. If we don't keep these turrets, then we will lose this game. So, it is the highest goal to look for any inks and I get stunned by um, an assassin on operative. I couldn't tell quite which one of that is, uh, but it looked like a like a sleep dart. It wasn't, um, yeah, it was it was it was a sleep dart right there. So it was it was an operative. So that in mind, everybody leaves mid, and I'm completely alone here um, against possibly an operative and this juggernaut. So I burst him. Unfortunately for me, I don't pop and trench. Uh, I just kind of start running and uh, see him. But right there I'm writing the ink. I roll away, just trying to waste the time as as long as possible so that my reinforcements can arrive. Right now I'm just trying to uh, keep them out of the line of sight so they can't damage me. So I kick them away, all of them are five seconds uh, rooted. Just trying to waste the time, so ha as hard as I can, I'm just trying to waste the time. There's evasion, they can't hit me. I am really, really, really trying to make this uh, this very long, so that they that, that it's not um, not very close right here. Good. So he tries to tap. I um, I counter that before I die. So I think uh, was quite um, quite the job was done. Quite a good job that I did there. Uh, three people just uh, just held them up like over 20 seconds, so that they couldn't tap right there. So that is uh, was very, very, very important right there that our victory is secured. Because if they would have gotten that emplacement, that would be pretty much game over. Because they, no matter what we would have done, if they had one emplacement, and they will have, they would have won. So it's good, very good, that uh, we kept that emplacement, that other people um, reacted so fast and came over there. So I'm on the healer again. Uh, it's kind of a personal story in this game, uh, that always this healer is my main focus. But that's just due to his insane output. He's an operative. He pretty much heals everyone, everyone up in in his uh, in his um, in his uh, peripherals, and he really, really, really uh, has an output of uh, yeah, many many hundred k of healing, and he has that in every game. I actually know him, and that's why uh, that's why I always I always uh, stick to him very very closely. I always. Um, I always intend that the the healer doesn't get any casts off, that he doesn't uh, get to heal anyone that's low. That uh, he's just really, really focused away by by the damage that I can deal. And this is he. Uh, they kind of trying to get snow now because mid failed, but it's not really going to happen right now. I mean, they it's it's 50 to 80. It's not not as close as it should be. We just burst him against the healer. Right there, the, you've got the you've got the one damage operative again, and and he kind of breaks the line of sight. The uh, the other healer guy, he tries to go mid again. But right there, I I get him. That's where he's uh, he stand up and is a dual warbang into instant death. That's how you do it. From 60% to zero, the operative has got nothing on me right there, which is good. So that is very close. It's 30 to 40, and we will win because we have two turrets and they have only got one turret, which is quite good. And yeah, just killing the last people here in mid. Game is about to wrap up. It was quite close. It was quite a 
quite a, a back and forth in, in, in tapping, quite a, quite quite the fails which uh, occurred with many many situations, with many people not being able to death, but uh, at the end everything that counts is the win, and we got it 20 to zero, quite close, quite close. Game is over. Uh, I've been Drulik. This was PVP with Drulik. Have a good one.